welcome back to my channel so you might have already guessed what i'm gonna show you today so today's episode is really special because i have never shown anything like this before yeah today is the day where i'm gonna be showing you refashion for men so i'll be showing you how to transform a simple polar blanket into this pajama set and yeah it's actually a men's pajama but you can also you can call it a unisex pajama actually because this is a bigger size it's for my boyfriend i gifted him for his birthday so i am also wearing it just to shoot the video so stay tuned to the end of this video to see how i did this yeah so let's get started first i'm gonna simply open the red border from the blanket Then I'm gonna trace a trouser pattern from one of his trousers like I have been doing for all of my trouser patterns before. I'm gonna have to make some adjustment as the blanket is not stretchy but the track is stretchy. You can just trace from a non straight trouser unlike me. Leave some seam allowance and cut the pattern. Do the same on the back side as well. So here we have our front and back pattern ready. Interlock all the raw edges because the tiny fur in the blanket can be really annoying to your nose. You better wear a mask while making this kind of pajamas. I had left 3 inches above the original waistline pattern to fold it over and finish it off at the waistline like this. Taking reference from the trouser, I marked up 2 inches below the folded waistline as starting point of the pocket, making the pocket 7 inches longer and marked it. Similarly, I traced the pattern on both front and back leg. I took a white scrap fabric and traced a pocket connecting from the waistline. Pockets are like saviors in this freezing winter. Just by keeping your hands inside the pocket can make you feel really really warm. I cut out 4 identical pocket pattern on white fabric. I took 2 pieces and cut out 2 inches from the pocket and replaced it with the blanket fabric. Then I placed the same pocket pattern over the plain pattern and stitched the oval part, leaving the straight part open. So this is the front piece and this is the back. What we're gonna do is join it like this. The raw part of the pocket, it's gonna go inside like this and this is gonna show up at the outer part this is how our pocket is gonna lie this part is gonna be attached with the back part so the front pocket is gonna be attached like this This is the front and this is the back. We gotta join the pockets like this so that the white part remains in the front and the joint part remains in the back. I'll tell you the reason why it's so. Now leaving the 7 inches of the pocket open, join the sides of the legs from the waistline to the pocket opening and below the pocket all the way down to the bottom. So the reason why I joined the blanket fabric to the pocket is to prevent the white pocket from being seen from the outside. 
Now join the front and back crotch of the trouser and join the inner leg seams of the trouser as well. Now taking the measurement of the waistline from the sample trouser without stretching, I cut out elastic measuring same for the trouser. I joined the ends of the elastic and installed it on the trouser like this. For the bottom, I took the red border that I had separated before and used it as a binding like this. The trouser is ready. For the upper bodies, I traced a front and back body pattern from one of his t-shirts and customized it a bit by adding a color to the pattern so that the color itself is attached to the bodies. So I traced the pattern and cut out both front and back pieces. The cut on the back is optional, I did it so that I could put a slit on the bottom of the back. Similarly, cut out sleeve pattern like we did for the front and back bodies and trace the sleeve on the remaining blanket and cut out both sleeves. From the remaining blanket, cut out facing from collar to the bottom. I did not have enough blanket left, so I managed somehow to make both of the facing of the front. Now join the facing to the front part of both bodies. Top stitch the facing for the good finish. I join the shoulders with the facing lying together with the back bodies like I have shown here. Don't get confused, the collar is also attached to the bodies. Just join the shoulder up to the notch where it meets the collar. Join the inner part of the collar, which is the facing, to the back neckline like this, leaving one part of the collar open.
Join the center back from the neckline to the bottom, leaving 5 inches open to the bottom for slit later. Adjust the length of the collar according to the neckline and cut the excess. Now join the collars together like I have shown here where the right sides of the fabric should be shown outside and after that hand stitch the outer part of the collar to the bodies. Join the side of both sleeves. This sleeves does not have binding, so I'm gonna use this binding like I did for my, the leg. Join the sides of the bodies and attach sleeves. Measure and mark at the point where you want your buttons to be. I marked my buttons 5 5 inches apart from each other and installed my button. After attaching the buttons, make buttonholes corresponding to the buttons and hand interlock all the buttonholes. Yeah, I did hand interlock to the buttonhole because I couldn't stitch the blanket was too much furry for it. So we are done here and here is the final transformation. Video. So I hope you like the first ever men's transformation I did because I have been getting a lot of requests from boys or men to do a men's refashion so I hope I'm getting a new subscriber men subscribers and men viewers because most of my 100% viewers are ladies so yeah gents count on me I'm gonna be showing you some more refashion from now on for men as well also you can use this tutorial to make uh, pajamas for women as well because it's pajama and the design is for unisex I design it like that you can see I can wear it too and you you saw it on my boyfriend as well so yeah you can use this tutorial to make a set for yourself and trust me guys uh, try making a pajama from your polar blanket something really uh, like you know something real that is really thin not like not like this <laughs> not like this much thick blanket you can use a simple polar blanket um, which is really really thin and it's really comfortable and cozy so 
yeah try making a pajama from polar blanket for yourself and let me know how you felt about it it's really warm for this winter and to be honest i have i'm wearing nothing inside it see and it's still warm it's freezing cold here in Kathmandu and this is gonna work for the night so if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel for more refashion DIYs for women and men as well from now on I promise I'm gonna show you some more interesting refashion for men please subscribe if you're watching especially boys men I'll be showing you something interesting more and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new refashion video and follow me on the social media the links are in the description box below i'll be seeing you next time with a very new refashion i guess till then bye and take care